today I'm going to do a twinning day with my sweet Rebecca with Heidi from Susie Q Buntin Babes because Heidi is her sister and we're going to do that and we're going to change her into this lovely little floral dress which is blue and it's got light blue red pink and yellow flowers on it and some of the flowers have got little faces. It's really cute. Look at that. Reminds me of the flower pot men when I was little. Um, we used to watch that. <laughs> and it's a little a dress that's made out of t-shirt material. And it's got long sleeves and a little um, angel sleeve bit at the top. Which is very nice. And Susie Q sent me a box of socks. So we're going to choose a pair out of that, Susie, so that you can do the same with Heidi. And I'm going to put her trainers on. Uh, these are blue and white trainers with Velcro straps. They're really nice, aren't they? And we call them trainers. Um, these are casual shoes that people kind of go running in and that kind of thing here so we call them trainers but I believe that over in America you have a different name for them and I'm going to do her hair but I'm not sure how yet now I know this is yet another changing video and I didn't realize till somebody was talking about it the other day that I do seem to do a rather a lot of them so I hope you don't get bored you'll have to let me know if you do now she's been playing with this lovely little swan and we're still think, trying to think of a name for him or her. We're not sure if it's male or female. Got some lovely blue eyes. Look at the eyes on that. <laughs> Beautiful. But we haven't picked a name yet. So if you've got any suggestions, let me know. Now just pop that out of the way. Now dressing a big baby is always hard for me. But I will do my best. Let's take your pretty little head up, band off, darling. And your little sockies. There we go. Let's undo your dress. Hopefully I won't get in the way too much. Like I say, I, I don't dress the big girls on camera much. Because I do find it very difficult to do that. You know, not like the little ones. They're a lot easier to dress. There we go, darling. Let's get your dress off. I like these um, Mrs. Megito dresses. They're very pretty. They remind me a bit of the dresses that um, ladies called flappers used to wear in the 1940s. Um, they look very much like that to me. If you don't know what a flapper is, you look it up. <laughs> They're really pretty dresses. It reminds me of that. And I love all the Mrs. Megito figures on here. They're just so magical. I love them. Right, miss. Now, you've got a pair of pink frilly knickers on. So, that should be all right under there, shouldn't it? Just make sure your vest is all right. This is a lovely little pair of frilly knickers. So, hopefully you can see her okay. Just pop that out of the way. Now she's got very splayed hands. It's the one thing that I absolutely love about Corolla's Corolla Wedge Rich is um, sculpts. They're very expressive, their hands, but unfortunately that does make getting their hands through dresses a little bit harder. Let's just pull your hair out, darling. There we go. There's a good girl. Should mummy lay you down? Let's lay her down a minute and I'll just check that you're seeing her still. No, you're not seeing her at all, are you? Let's put her around like that. Is that better? There we go. Yeah, very expressive hands, but it does make them very difficult to get into clothes. I have to pull them open a bit to get a little hands in because we don't want to hurt her hands, do we, darling? There we go, there's one little hand. 
this one isn't quite so bad there we go had a busy day today and I'm still doing the washing downstairs and what time is it it's eight minutes to four in the afternoon but I had to go out to the town to get some things for the weekend so um, that kind of cut things short and my husband's got an ear infection at the moment so I have to keep putting drops in his ears and that takes up a bit of time as well so you know I've been busy 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 oh that fits your lovely darling doesn't it very pretty on her isn't it look at that love that so what colour shall we go with the socks we've got cream lilac grey green i think green might be nice actually the mint green goes nicely with the stems of the flowers there's a pale pink that goes nicely with that big flower doesn't it i don't want to go white or cream so should we go pink or green what would look best with her shoes probably the pink won't it what do you think Mm. green's nice though isn't it mm. not sure let's go with green let's go with green Susie so we go with the mint green just for a change I'll let you see her little feet well not so little she's got quite big feet and she's got um, straight legs which makes things a bit more difficult too there we go yeah so busy 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 today it's always like that on a friday here though i don't think i get to do many videos on a friday but i did say to susie i would do this today socks aren't they let's put your little shoes on sweetie and then we'll make sure we get the lace over the top there we go <laughs> very cute this one let's get the other one on I'm going to the cinema tomorrow so I'm looking forward to that tomorrow afternoon there we go darling they're very cute aren't they very cute over the top I like that there we go now we've got the difficult task of doing her hair up you come sweetie Whoa, she's a gorgeous girl that fits her beautiful I really like that Let's sit her up. Pretty little dress, isn't it? You're going to sit for mummy. There's a good girl. Right, we've got her sat up. So I thought I might do her hair in bunches today. That's kind of the easiest thing for me to do. And what colour should we do in there? What colour things? Should we do yellow? That would be nice, wouldn't it? I've got some little yellow scrunches. We can put that in. I haven't brushed her hair much since she came back from Alexandra. Because, um, you know, I had that funny problem with her where her hair was getting really greasy. And Alexandra did her hair with washing up liquid. She's got lovely human hair. But, um, yeah, so, and I've noticed, you know, that if I, it's best to kind of leave her hair and not brush it too much. It's starting to get a bit greasy in the front again. So I might have to wash her hair over the weekend. There we go, darling. Hope I'm not pulling your hair too much. Just put these little scrunches on. There we go. 
we go. I don't know if you've got anything similar to that, Susie. You'll have to let me know. That looks cute, doesn't it? Let's do another one. Yeah, very strange that grease problem she's got with her hair. But um, if it's a problem with the sculpt, the way it's been done, there's not a lot you can do about that really, is there? There we go. Just pop that on. Let's do another turn. There we go. Oh, Mummy's not hurting you. There we go. There's a good girl. She's a big girl, aren't you? Yeah, you can just see where it's starting. I don't know if you can see. It's just starting to look greasy here, look. Can you see how it's shining? But um, it's not too bad. So there she is. She's all dressed up in her pretty flowery dress, all ready to um, twin up with Heidi. Are you going to say hi to her? Say hi, Heidi. Mwah. Can't wait to see you in the same dress. She's not wanting to sit up today for some reason. There we go. So there she is, looking all cute in her dress. <laughs> look at that. She's not looking at you at all today, is she? You're not going to look at everybody. What's wrong with you? What's wrong then? Oh, you want your swan? There he is. Is he a boy swan or a girl swan? We can't decide, can we? You have to see if the ladies tell you a name and then we can decide, can't we? Yeah. So there she is. I hope you've enjoyed seeing her. She's a sweet little, well, I was going to say little girl, but she's big. And uh, yeah. And you all have a good rest of your day. Mwah. Love you ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.